Roll them. We're out here with the Ruger P345. <laughs> uh, I got four clips to shoot today. That's all I have for this. Or magazines for all the clip police out there. <laughs> uh, but did want to kind of compare this with the uh, 1911. I don't know. To me, it's some, except for of course uh, a 1911 has a five-inch barrel. But to me, it is somewhat sim similar. They both, uh, it's almost the same thinness. They both have Novak sights. Except mine has dots in the back, in front. But, uh, to me, it, these are two very similar guns. Uh, of course, this doesn't have the grip safety. But, uh, I don't know, and of course this is steel, this is polymer, but uh, so just wanted to compare those real quick, and we'll go ahead and take some shots here. And I am shooting with uh, two mags I got with the gun, then I ordered two more from Ruger, and those two are pretty much brand new, I've never shot them before, so... If we do have any jams, I'm blaming on the magazine. <laughs> but shooting from about 30 feet. And I already do know that this shoots low, so it's not going to discourage me if, it, if that's what I see on paper. Like you're shooting a little low. Yeah, it's expected. I got. I'll look at the target here in a second. I still love this gun. It's it's gonna hit center. It's gonna hit you know a man-sized target. It's never failed. since I shot this gun. It does have a decent pop since it's a polymer. I can't take the recoil like a 32 we shot uh, 8 times 4 is 32 so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22 and then plus the 6 or 7 that I was double tapping and probably completely missed but it's still not bad um, it actually kind of looks pretty similar to the Beretta results I, that uh, we did a video on. But not too bad, again, about 8 to 9 inch spread. Uh, I'm pretty happy with that. Yeah, I could have concentrated a little more and probably you know, did a better grouping, but it's an awesome gun. Definitely recommend this if uh, 
you know, you don't have the money for a 1911. It's very close, and it does have the double action, of course, which is what I favor over the 1911. I'm not saying the 1911 is a bad gun, but I just favor the double action. All right, that's about it.